Hello friends, sorry for the that of last live. So I got some interruptions over there. So that is what I just opened that one. So in this uh, one tutorial, I am showing some dynamic blow creations for AutoCAD uh, electrical cable tray and how to use that one. So for example, here is a lot of cable tray fittings is going on. So how we can use this in a AutoCAD drawing, that is the one I am showing. So we will start with that. I will show you how to uh, do that one. So for example, here uh, some uh, fittings are there like uh, cable tray fittings. So this one is 600 mm. So you can stretch this one like this, like this, like this. So how we can create this one I will show you. So um, I created some videos on uh, uh, how to create that one. So for example, this kind of cable tray fittings you have. So just explore that one. Just uh, you can make the things like this. Uh, you know, the cow and everything. You can you make a polyline like this. The cable tray fittings for uh, for example, here is the 600 mm cable tray. So you can uh, get it that one. This is 600 mm cable tray. So you just copy this one. Copy to uh, HVC power layout. So paste it over here. Uh, so if you dimension this one this is 600 and this part also 600 and here also 600 so this is the one of the T junction so we need to make uh, some cable tray uh, dynamic block for that we what we can do we just need to create a block just give a name KPCT 600 something like that and pick point and just pick one point and select the object just select it so then then here is the one open in a block editor okay you can just uh, click that one otherwise uh, you just uh, need to click this one means it will automatically go into the block editor click ok then what we need to do this is now uh, open a block editor so just go to the parameter first so we need to set some parameters over here you will be get from the from here in the block editor you will be get the parameters parrot from here so we need to give some linear parameter so what I need to do this part this square part this is separate part right so I need to stretch this part first and this part also and this part also so this is a simple exercise so you just select this one create the distance like one parameter like this and here also you can make one parameter like this and this part also you can make the parameter like this so why I am choosing this one I need to choose stretch this part like this so just uh, go to next the action just we need to give the action so st giving stretch this one select the parameters so select this point and just drag like this so this part we need to stretch those so that is what we are choosing this uh, this much part and select select the part whichever you need to stretch select it the same thing stretch or uh, st stretch command select the parameter pick the point and just uh, select half part of this one and select the area which you need to stretch it simple so st another one stretch command then choose the parameter then select this point then drag like this the half portion of this uh, stretched part then select this one so that was created just close that one close it so you can see here it was created so you can stretch the simply the cable tray easily like that okay so this is the one method and we need to draw the some for example this is 300 mm cable tray from here to here okay so this this is also 300 mm cable tray so what we can do uh, we just need to we just need to uh, draw the uh, cable tray so what we can go go to here and select 300 mm cable tray and just fittings just fittings you just select over here and rotate this one like this you can rotate it and just to move this one up to here and this one you can move to here but this is just a simple sketch like a polyline sketch so we need to draw exact cable tray in the AutoCAD so just stretch like this up to here stretch it up to here so easily you can develop a shop drawing 
so this one also you need want to uh, stretch it this one so just select this one and stretch up to here and other fitting other another fittings required so just just copy this one so we will place over here one and copy it again and rotate this one like this rotate and just uh, move up to here just uh, you can stretch like this and you, you can fix this one up to the end of this one and this one you can stretch this one up to the up to here and this portions you can stretch also up to the end of here and here also you can uh, mirror this one just to mirror it and copy this one for the other part you can stretch this one like this so simple exercise so this one you can make like this this one you can make it like this and you just you need to stretch up to the wherever you need you can stretch it and the insert inner part you can delete it so if you don't no need that one means you can delete it so it will clearly showing the area where the cable tray is running so then you can give the tags and everything and the uh, same uh, even if, if you need some hundred mm trunking means so here is the same process we can make it like here is a trunking so just um, copy the trunking from here how this one making i will show you i will explore this one so for example if you need to make some cable trunking like the distance uh, 100 so just to make a rectangle like this rec and uh, just uh, stretch like the uh, pick the first point and the uh, shift and uh, at the right just uh, give a 100 comma 100 and you can just uh, make like this and you can give the hatch of that one so i'm just uh, uh, using this one and i'm just to make a block and i'm just uh, giving cable tracking something like that tr uh, 100 something like that i am giving so this is very simple exercise for making shop drawing uh, for a cable tray select the block pick the point and I am picking this point click ok so we need to give the parameter first just give a parameter like this so this one you can use it in another way also just uh, I am just giving action uh, stretch command and I am using this one and picking this point selecting like that and selecting this part and enter it and another stretch this part so selecting this one and selecting this point and stretch like this and just selecting like this and close close the block editor so if you can see here this two part is coming like this so easily you can make that one and if you want to change the layer so you can change the layer also and you can pick this one up to here this is like a, a the cable tray so you can just uh, stretch up to the here like this this is like a lot of uh, um, useful command so you can use this one like uh, for example if, if you need uh, some other cable tray like uh, if you want to make it so you can easily make it the cable tray one while once you get that uh, routing for example I am getting the routing like this for the trunking so I can easily move this one and move it here uh, if you have a single line about that one so you can just uh, stretch like this and you can stretch uh, up to the here so easily you can make it with this dynamic blow so how, how it will be this one creating so just uh, exporting this one and uh, there is a part of the cable tie stretching and just type p block for that one and trunking one something like that you can make it and select the block pick the point and i'm picking this point click ok then you will be get like this one then go to the parameter and we need to stretch this part so we need to select like this and we need to stretch this one so you need to give us another parameter go to action stretch command then select this one and select it and drag like this and select the area whichever you need to need to stretch select that one the same process for here select this one and just selecting like this and select the area and close the block editor save it and if you see this one it is it will work like that so easily you can make the uh, dynamic blocks uh, like that thanks for watching and sorry for that first uh, session i will make that one again uh, some interruptions uh, network issues coming so that is what i just closed that one okay thanks for watching thank you